who says there's nothing to risk in the coin push for tonight. Our live streamers are risking their bets on whether to play for the duck or the troll. Whichever one they pick, they've got to get out first. Here we go. YouTube viewers, welcome to another episode of We Play You Win. Tonight, the live streamers have made a decision that they want to get the troll and the Minecraft cart out of the coin pusher before the duck exits. That's what they're betting on. Who says you can't gamble big time here in uh, coin pusher land? Uh, so they're going to have as much time as it takes to get the troll out. Or if the duck exits... That's the end of the game. They do not want the duck to exit the coin pusher. They have to get the troll. Play field is essentially empty. Pusher shelf is essentially empty. We're going to let go. Viewers are voting right now. They're saying to play center left. So we're going to let go of the, pusher, the skill stop and start playing center left. Here we go. Pusher shelf is active. And remember, you have a chance to win on our channel too. That is a mystery bag. You have an opportunity to win a mystery bag by subscribing to our channel and answering today's mystery bag question, which I will ask at the end of today's video. I am playing center left because all of our live streamers are telling me to play center left right now. And I'm trying to be very delicate here at the quarters because this is a very precarious setup, let me tell you. There's all kinds of opportunities for shenanigans. Oh, oh, okay, this could be it. Okay. Those corners are just coming off the tower, playing center left again. Now, when I was a kid, I had a troll collection, but I never had a rubber duck collection until I until I started a YouTube channel with my wife. Now we have all kinds of rubber ducks. We have pinky rubber ducks, yellow rubber ducks. Sometimes we do giveaways that involve duck races. I think if I was to be a rubber duck, I would probably be just your plain old yellow vanilla duck, yellow duck. You know, the classic rubber ducky. You know, the one you might find in the arms of Ernie from Sesame Street. Nothing too fancy. Okay, playing center left is starting to work. We're filling the left-hand side of the pusher shelf. Minimal quarters are going on the right. So the coin pusher gods are telling us we're making the right call here. I don't think it'll take very many quarters to push this tower to see it just humble all over the place. My only concern is the troll might bounce out of the Minecraft cart. And then it becomes a game where they have, we have to get both pieces out. More quarters coming off that pusher shelf. Voting is on the left. Now normally we'd be getting more quarters in the middle, but there is a structure that's acting as a blockade, which is actually giving us a benefit right now because it's going to funnel the quarters left and around and minimize how much contact we're making with that pink duck tower. Now some people say rubber duckies are only good for bath time I would argue they are also good for race time. I have, uh, sometimes they do, uh, different nonprofit organizations do duck race fundraising where you buy one or more rubber ducks. That rubber duck heard me talking about rubber ducks and started to jiggle. You see those jiggles? It's just moving. It is moving on its own. Oh, the troll just wiggled. It rolled backwards. On the tower, it rolled backwards. Uh, 
I'm getting nervous here. Anything could happen. These towers are rigged to explode. We have in a controlled, safe manner that would not injure any of these critters on them. Oh, that left tower actually pushed. It moved. I wasn't sure if it would actually push at all. It did. Play is still center left. I think center left is working out pretty good. As long as we have this uh, poker chip block in the middle, we're, this is actually helping us phone quarters exactly where we want them. All right, will those quarters stay where they get unstuck? They're gonna stay. Oh no. They don't get unstuck quickly. Yeah, see, th that blockade was causing quarters to play to the right, which we do not want. Playing center left. Oh, the pink duck just took the lead. And the trolls running to catch up. Oh my gosh. I didn't think these towers would stand. Oh, the duck just jumped ahead again. Big push on the left. Play is still center left. Center left, center left, center left. Oh, that troll moved, but his he wheeled backwards. He's locked in on the top of that tower. There appears to be a quarter underneath the troll keeping him. Oh, there he goes. I am amazed the tower st stood, remained standing without the troll. And I'm playing center left. Oh no. The troll is right behind the tower and the duck. This could be so bad. Okay, he's playing. Players are still playing center left and they've just switched to the center. Oh, they're, put, they're risking everything though. See this power? It, it's getting ready to go. Oh, I did not think that was gonna happen. It pushed the troll to the left. I thought the stack could fall and potentially knock over that duck, but it didn't. It avoided the duck. Playing right up the center. Clearly we have a bunch of troll fans playing center left now. Now we've got to maneuver that troll all the way out. We probably have to take it all the way to the far left hand side. These wheeled cars don't like coin pusher um, ramps. They tend to just get stuck. Second push. Here we go. Playing is center left still. There it goes. Oh, that could cause trouble. Wow! That duck is solid on that tower. I have... I, I'm just, my mouth is literally agape. I don't know. I can't believe that both towers didn't explode. We played these towers once before, and as soon as a quarter hit these towers, it exploded. And the game ended right away. Playing center left still. Oh, we've got some votes just 
what well, they're starting to switch to the right, but they came back to center left. They're switching over to the right hand side. Uh, still center left. Playing center left. So it looks like it may be a tie between right and center left. It is a tie coming to the right, and I'm going to play on the far right hand side, part of this hand, and switch to center left. I'm not sure why they're thinking of playing on the right. Both just switch back to center left. I'm not sure what strategy is going on here. Okay, switch to the right. They've got the troll on the run. Clearly they're going for the... Oh, the rubber ducky has fallen. And it fell behind the troll. This could be a very good sign. But the troll... See, the problem is the troll doesn't have a lot of maneuvering before it hits that ledge, and then it has to walk all the way across. That duck plays switch back to center left, it fell on the, to the left-hand side, and it may actually have a shorter distance to go to exit. Oh, that tower just went. The duck is quickly chasing the back end of that troll. We've seen this race before. Just the other day, we had a duck evil Knievel the troll race and I believe they were in a similar spot, except the duck was standing vertical. Second wave. All right, here we go. Big rapid fire. Second wave. And I'm not waiting for second wave. We're just going to rapid fire this. And coming in on the center left again, majority vote continues to control the game tonight. But now we're at a problem. The troll is at the edge, and he slid back. If they can get the front two wheels over that ledge, they have a pretty good shot. That tower just exploded again. Not much going on in the loop cam. Don't expect to see a lot of loop cam action when the McCoy pusher is empty. Playing the center left. You know, I don't know if I'd want to be a coin pusher duck. Oh, that tower just came down, big push. <laughs> oh man. I think the odds just got better for the live streamers. The duck is intertwined behind the troll. It's surrounded by large chips that'll clog up the left-hand side of the machine and may give them the push they need to get Evil Knievel over that edge and into the loop can. Push. Not quite enough. He's getting there. He's almost there. Okay, play is switching from center left to left, back to center left. Still majority center left, big push. Did you see what just happened with that troll? Slid back into the machine. Those wheels Making him reverse. The troll's in reverse. Maybe maybe the troll's uh, forward gear is broken. He only knows how to drive going backwards. Hey, that duck and troll are neck and neck. Hey, it's switched. Play is switched all the way to the left again. Playing far left. They're going to try to walk that troll all the way to the short edge up, up the side. The duck might not slide back into the machine, though.
Man, no pushes. It did not give us a good push on the left. I like how uh, when you, there are so many different types of rubber ducks these days. You know, I said that if I was a rubber duck, I would be your classic, boring, mellow yellow kind of rubber duck. But there are so many crazy rubber ducks. You got rubber ducks with mustaches. They probably have rubber ducks that, for every single emoji that exists in the universe. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a custom rubber duck service where you could get a rubber duck painted to look like you. And if there isn't, maybe someone should start such a service. Become your own rubber ducky. Now, if you're taking a bath with a rubber ducky that you had made like yourself, that might be a little strange. You might want to carefully decide who you talk to and let them know about your plans for this rubber ducky. I mean, maybe you like to take baths with rubber duckies today and they're just regular, but if you got a custom one, I don't know, that would be, wouldn't be such a good idea. Or just, it'd be different. Okay, the duck is starting to outpace that troll. The duck is more forward than the Minecraft part at this point. And all the game now depends on if the, if the duck will slide back into the, machine, into the machine like the troll's been doing. It's still anyone's game. Okay, the duck's rolling back. The duck, we're, we're talking about a game here of uh, millimeters. The troll is now ahead. And I am dropping quarters because I have a bad grip. As you can tell from the camera, when I feed my quarters into the machine, I have my thumb on the bottom, and I use, and there's a stack of quarters above the thumb, and I am pushing the quarters in from the bottom. Now when my wife plays, when Sherry plays, I believe she does just the opposite. She has a stack of quarters, and she plays off the top and keeps her thumb on the bottom. I, I don't know how she does that. I, I have to rapid fire from the bottom. She rapid fires from the top, which is pretty cool. We have a number of videos out there now with the, with the slot cam. So you can actually watch us drop the quarters in the machine. And we've got very different techniques. I drop more quarters though. That is a fair thing to say. There, there it goes, he dropped more quarters. Play is still far left. Troll is leaning back into the machine. The duck is just taking a lazy afternoon off. Clearly this duck has been one too many duck races and has decided it's not in a hurry. Big push on the left. And the troll slides further to the left. See where they are walking these pieces over there. The duck is getting walked. The troll is getting walked. These outside edges have a uh, much shorter ramp. Now, some people in their machines remove this ramp, and the reason they remove the ramp is it gets it's a lot easier to uh, win without that ramp on the edge of the coin pusher. So if you're ever watching a coin pusher, there's no ramp on it. it, means it's either a ticket dispensing machine designed to make it easy to win, um, or the owner of it just likes people to win. You don't get this sliding back effect that we're seeing right here without a ramp. Pushing left, oh, the troll slid back again. Playing hard left. And you'll see that sometimes I'm supposed to play hard left and I'm actually over here where I'll be playing my quarters and the slot will walk towards my towards to the right. And that's just, that's a Johnism. Thank you very much. Playing is still on the left-hand side. 
control is almost out of the machine. It's looking really good. Another push on the left. I did not think this game would last anywhere near this long. I think the live streamers figured out the magic to this game. They realized how it was rigged and they decided to take control and defeat the Ducks once and for all. Another push on the left. It's looking good. That troll is really close to exiting. Oh, the duck runs away. The duck can't stand to see its defeat as the live streamers pull out a win. There is our troll in the Minecraft cart. Dun, dun, dun. You have finally succeeded in rescuing Evil Knievel from the grip of the coin pusher. Wow, that was awesome. So this means our live streamers have now just won a, a prize for beating tonight's coin pusher game. We're gonna go do that giveaway right, right away. Our dog is celebrating in the background. Remember what I said earlier? You have an opportunity to win this mystery bag. Make sure you subscribe to this video and answer the mystery bag question I'm about to ask you. You have 24 hours from the time this video goes live to answer the mystery bag question. And your answer is a guaranteed entry in a Sunday giveaway. Cricket is celebrating. So if you want to win a mystery bag, this mystery bag right here, answer this mystery bag question. What kind of rubber ducky would you be if you were a rubber ducky? Would you be a mellow yellow rubber ducky like myself? Would you be a devil rubber ducky? Would you be a unicorn rubber ducky? They do exist because we have some. Comment with your answer to that mystery bag question here on YouTube in the next 24 hours and you have a chance to win that mystery bag in our Sunday drawing giveaway. Thanks again for joining me tonight. I had a lot of fun. This was a much more intense game than I thought it was gonna be and clearly this game was rigged and they, the live streamers won anyway. Thanks for joining me. Have a great evening. Have a great day. Have a great morning. Please be happy. Be safe. Be well. Find a way to pass on a smile today. Somebody who needs it. And I will see you next time. Bye.